Dr. Liverpool, what do you think happened to them? Their last transmission was eerie. They were shouting that they were being attacked. But what kind of animal would be down there? I'm not sure, but we're about to find out. Careful, everyone. We have no idea what happened to them. We don't want to contaminate anything. Sir, come take a look at this. It nearly decapitated him. Oh, oh, oh wow. Uh, that's so awful. Keep your cool, Melvin, or you'll end up puking inside your own suit. Dr. Liverpool, over here, we found something. Look at this. It was in her suit. My god, that looks like a human hand. It can't be human, sir. It's too large. Look, its pinky is as long as my forearm. Uh, what on God's earth did that thing belong to? I don't know, sir, but she put up one hell of a fight. She took the hand off that bastard, whatever it was. She must have used the laser probe. It looks like a clean cut. Are you going to notify Lord Orb? I am, but he's going to want my analysis and something useful for the king to kill the beast this came from. A giant, that's what I will tell him. A 20-foot giant attacked and killed two of the finest scientists on the Recon team. Apparently, there are giants living underground. Jeez, listen to how ridiculous that sounds. It may sound ridiculous, sir, but Orb will believe it, and we'll send more people down there to find out what that thing was. Of course he will. He's a twisted conspiracy nut who believes the boogeyman is real and prays to an imaginary old white man in the sky. He'll believe the Tooth Fairy did it if I can give him some shady data. I'll bag the specimen, sir. New Kingdom Radio Theater. This is a coupon queen pin from the CQP Moments podcast. Are you enjoying this thrilling audio drama? Does this story leave you craving more? Well, more is coming. But the show needs your support. Show your support for The Rise of King Asylus by going to patreon.com slash kingasylus and support the show with as little as $3. Again, that's patreon.com slash kingasylus. Get exclusive content and get more access. Patreon.com slash King of Silas. Dr. Liverpool contacted Lord Oreb and reported that the giant's hand was discovered in the bodysuit of a dead scientist. He described the severed hand and told Oreb he estimated the giant to be approximately 20 feet tall. But their communication was disrupted. A horde of cannibals had attacked the city of New Eden and were terrorizing the residents. A large mass of crazed cannibalistic people surrounded the gates of the Grand Castle. Lord Capone was with the king when the attack suddenly enveloped the entire city. Sir, I suggest you head into the secured safe room. I'll leave the Spartans to ensure the perimeter is clear of any unauthorized people. You really think I'm so vulnerable that I should hide in the safe room? There are thousands of them out there, sir. I was the general of the army. Don't you forget that, Quinn. Then use some strategy, sir. Outsmart these animals. But do it from within the castle. Use all your military intelligence to lead us from in here. I will go out there. 
I will put my life on the line for you and for America, sir. Let me do this, my king. I'll send air support up to get an aerial view. You'll have eyes in the sky. Thank you, sir. Lord Capone, what are your orders? Put two Spartans at the entry of each of the four main gates. Arm platoons one, two, three, and four with flamethrowers. Torch these bastards and keep them from entering. You and two other Spartans grab the M134s and come with me. We'll take the underground tunnel into the main square and pick them off from behind. As you command, Lord Capone, but you should also put on some battle armor. Jones, you and me face the gates. You two behind us, have our backs. Do you wish to clear a path to the gate, sir? Negative. Kill as many of these cannibals as possible. Look up. The king is sending air support. Where should we strike, Jones? No fires too close to the gate will be a bad idea, sir. Then let's make a wedge and force them to bulge outward. This way the missile would be further away from the gate. Good thinking. Lord Capone, to the south! are approaching, watch out! I'll physically engage the giant on the left. Shoot for his head when he reaches down for me. But you could be killed. Sir, this is what I was trained to do. My purpose in this world is to protect the king. These giants wish to destroy our castle and threaten my king. I will sacrifice myself if I have to. Be ready to fire. The other Spartans will take up the second time. Get ready, sir! Jones! Now, sir, shoot! Fire every round! Quentin, you son of a... <laughs> I knew you had it in you! <laughs> it's been a while since I did anything like that. Well, I am thoroughly impressed. The cannibals, the ones that survived, completely retreated, almost as suddenly as they appeared. We killed more than just cannibals out there. We also killed two... giants. Giants? I thought something was peculiar during the airstrikes. Spartan Jones was lost in the fight, sir. She sacrificed herself in order to kill one of the giants. Jones? That's too bad. She was one of the finest Spartans we ever had. Truly amazing, that woman. If you remember, she was one of the most defiant cadets we ever had as well. Pretty as a daisy and hot as a pepper. Are you going to get sentimental on me over a Spartan, Quentin? I seem to recall you crying over Abigail once upon a time. I deserve that. Okay, let's get our heads back in the game, shall we? Where are the corpses of the giants now? In the basement, sir. Ah, the basement. You just love bringing bodies into the basement, don't you? <laughs> yes, you deserve that one as well. Have our doctor study them immediately. We need to find out everything we can. If there are more of them out there, we'll likely lose a whole army of Spartans. And that is something we cannot allow under any circumstances. In Israel, the Pope and Cardinals encountered nomadic gangs and even cannibals on their pilgrimage. They found refuge 
in an underground bunker northeast of the destroyed city of Jerusalem. There, they began their preparations for the final leg of their journey to Galilee and the Pope's Sermon on the Hill. At the same time, Jacob and Orb's men went over their final plans to take out the Pope and the Cardinals. Orb ordered Gideon to accompany Jacob, not only as his personal bodyguard, but also in helping formulate a foolproof strategy. My prince, your plan does not include contingencies for attacking giants. Giants? Pfft. No, there aren't any giants here. With all due respect, you don't know that. Planning an attack should always include what you never expect. I don't expect little green men firing laser beams at us from the clouds. Should we plan for that kind of attack as well? I'm being serious, sir. As am I. No wonder my father got rid of you and reassigned you to Oreb. Where did you get the crazy idea that giants might attack us when our snipers take out the Pope? Giants just attacked New Eden, my prince, a short while ago. I got word from... By what? Radio transmission? Satellite comms? Or some other technology that's practically dead now? How is it that you get your reports before I do? Well, telepathy, my prince. A brother not Spartan just inform me. Esther? Is it true giants attacked New Eden a short while ago? Hello, my prince. It appears there was an attack on New Eden at approximately 1 p.m. local time. A great number of people from other parts rushed into the city and terrorized local residents. Some of the invaders were cannibals. But were there any giants? Among the invaders were two humanoids. Their origin is unknown. These beings stood approximately 20 feet high and were killed by Spartans and airstrikes ordered by the king. One of the Spartans was killed in the attack. We lost Jones. <sighs> okay, that is all. Thank you, Esther. Jones was such a great Spartan. Gideon... I apologize for snapping at you. I know you're only trying to help. You never have to apologize to me, my prince. Great. Let's look at these plans again, and this time, we'll prepare for a possible engagement of giants. Oh, babe, there it is. Washington, D.C. I hardly even recognize it anymore. If it weren't for the dome of the Capitol building... What happened to the Washington Monument? And where's the White House? Earthquakes took down the Washington Monument, babe. But the White House is still there. See? Look over where I'm pointing. That's the White House? Wait. It isn't even white, though. The city's been taken over, babe. Gangs run these parts now. Someone probably painted it those god-awful colors as a joke. Man, they even graffitied it. <sighs> we better not stick around here after the sun goes down. Guess we're taking the long way round. I'm just avoiding the flooded streets. Plus, we really don't want to drive through the center of town. We'd be asking for trouble if we do that. Hang on, babe. We got company. Grab the gun, JJ. Hey. 
hell? Are those giants? There's like a bunch of them. JJ, aim for the... Give me the gun. Here, take my pistol. You get it, baby! You killed two of those things! The other ones are running away! I don't think they're running away, babe. Looks like they're picking up something. Damn. They're coming back and there's more of them. Hang on, let's get the hell out of here. Doesn't seem like we've been riding very long. Well, up ahead's where my father lives. Or at least he did. Where? There was a fancy apartment building here before. Are you sure? There's nothing but a pile of rubble. Looks like it might have been demolished. <laughs> well, that's it then. I have no father now. <laughs> my poor dad. We always said if things ever got bad, we'd meet here. He said he'd wait for me. <laughs> My dad is gone. My dad is gone, babe. My daddy. I love him so much. Cody, baby, I know you're grieving and feel so much right now. I am so sorry about your daddy, but we can't stay here. <laughs> Why? Why, Daddy? I love you. You're the best dad I could ever ask for. <laughs> I'm so sorry I couldn't get to you in time, Daddy. Cody, <laughs> we have to go. Right now. You can't lose it. You can warn your father later. <laughs> Cody, please. Okay, I know, babe. I can hear those monsters coming. Get on the bike. Goodbye, Daddy. Watching it crumble, fall to the ground The ground shakes and rumbles and I stumble all around I never thought I would be the one to say But I'm sure glad it all turned out this way Nothing around me sparkles Still my heart dances tonight Nothing around me shines Still my mind sees the light change cause truth we will no longer fight so let it all crumble let it all fall this sick illusion has no bearing on me at all lies lies and more lies lure the tired to sleep Waking isn't easy The deception makes you Darkness. 
darkness and the darkness turns to light forgive your oppressors and lose the need to fight love those who have wronged you and be free of trying to Unbeknownst to the king or anyone on the high council, Lord Vanessa Banks paid a ransom to an underground group of smugglers in Switzerland. They took Princess Monica from her area of captivity and used a trafficking network to get her out of the mid-European region and to the port of Spain. Once Monica reached Spain, her handlers were given more money to ensure her safe passage to the port and onto a ship that would take her across the Atlantic Ocean. But before Monica made it to the port of Spain, she and her handlers had a horrific encounter with giants. As if ruthless gangs aren't enough to worry about, we have to worry about cannibals too? Civilization has completely collapsed. You know, my lady, I regret getting this stupid tattoo on my forehead. Ever since I got it, nothing has gone right in this world. I always thought the tattoo things were dumb. I spoke out against it from the start, but no one would listen to me. The king put something in the ink. Something that was meant to control people. But I think he miscalculated the human mind. Some things in this world cannot be controlled. It's probably why God gave us all free will. It's like insurance that we will never become gods ourselves. What was that? Probably more gangs. They're everywhere. Should I peek out the window? Here, let me. That can't be real. What the hell is that? Here, let me look. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what are those things? They're like giant people, but like monsters. Quick, Princess, we have to head down into the cellar. We can't stay up here. Move down the stairs. Hurry! You've been listening to The Rise of King Asylus, Episode 58, Giants, starring J.V. Torres as King Asylus, Amanda Haggist as J.J., Austin Beach as Cody Valentine, John Doby as Lord Quentin Capone, L.A. Bonet as Princess Monica, Mark Dreisenstock as Dr. Liverpool, Dominic Notaro as Prince Jacob, Keith Norris as Melvin, Michael Marshall as Gideon, Alessandra Fabiani as Esther, Courtney Clark as Spartan Jones, Melissa Warmer as Rita, Jessica Greer as Crew One, and narrated by Sergei Brozhnikov. Soldiers, no 
This episode features the song Let It All Crumble by Lindahl Descant. Click the link in the show notes to hear more from Lindahl Descant today. For more information about the cast, the music, or this production, please visit us at www.theriseofkingasilas.com for a full list on our Season 4 episode page. And now a word from our podcast friends. Hello, I am Adam Higgins from the Odd Dad Out podcast, where normal is not my specialty. What does that mean? Well, I just can't do one thing. Every week, I give you a sampling of personal stories, rants, ramblings, or just spending a day to nerd out a bit. Plus, I make fun of some weird news stories, and I tell you about a podcast that I think you should check out because sharing is caring, right? So if any of that sounds up your alley, subscribe to Odd Dad Out at odddadoutpodcast.com. This has been a production of the New Kingdom Radio Theater in Baltimore, Maryland. Copyright 2021. I'm Keith Norris, and stay tuned for episode 59.